A scorecard is the graphical representation of valid values for a column in a profile. Use scorecards to measure data quality progress. Let's open the scorecards workspace. Scorecards display the value frequency for columns as scores. The scores reflect the percentage of valid values in the columns. After you run a profile, you can add columns from the profile as metrics to a scorecard. We will now create a scorecard from the profile underscore customer profile. Click library and then select profiles. We will add columns from the profile results to a scorecard. Click the actions menu and select add to scorecard. You can add the columns to an existing scorecard or create a scorecard. In this demo, we will create a scorecard. Click Next. Enter a name and description for the scorecard. Note that you can choose the project where you want to save the scorecard. In this demo, we will go with the project selected by default. Click Next. Select the columns that you want to add to the scorecard. In this demo, we will add the status and customer tier columns. The columns that you selected appear as metrics in the metrics section. A metric is a column of a data source or output of a rule that is part of a scorecard. A metric threshold is a measure of valid column values for a metric. The thresholds represent the upper and lower bounds for good, acceptable and unacceptable ranges of data. Use the score using values section to define valid values from a list of available column values. We'll now create a scorecard to view the scores for the status and customer tier column values. First, we will define the metric thresholds for the status column. The threshold ranges are 86 to 100% for good data, 66 to 85% for acceptable data, and 0 to 65% for unacceptable range of data. Next, we will define the valid values. Live and active are the valid values. You can view the percentage of selected valid values and count of total valid values at the top of the valid values section. Now we will define the following threshold ranges for the customer tier column. 90 to 100% for good, 76 to 89% for acceptable and 0 to 75% for unacceptable. The valid values are 1 and 2. Create a metric group to categorize related scores in a scorecard into a set. By default, the Analyst tool categorizes all the scores in a default metric group. In this demo, we will accept the default metric group. Click Next. You can assign a weight to a metric when you create a scorecard. When you run a scorecard, the Analyst tool calculates the weighted average for each metric group based on the metric score and the weight you assign to each metric. The default value for the weight is 0. You can change the values as necessary. Click Save to save the scorecard and run later. For the purpose of this demo, the scorecard was previously run multiple times. We will now click Save and Run to run the scorecard again.
The scorecard panel displays the number of invalid rows, scores and links to score trend charts and data objects for the customer tier and state columns. We will now view the trend chart for the scorecard group that contains both status and customer tier columns. That completes this demo. To summarize, we created a scorecard from the status and customer tier columns in a profile, defined the valid values and thresholds for the metrics, specified metric weights, viewed the scorecard results, and generated a trend chart for the metric group. If you have feedback on this demo or to request a demo on another topic, email us at infa underscore documentation at informatica.com. You can also tweet us on the Infa Support Twitter site.